Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Beach Life. Today I am very excited as we are heading to Adelaide to meet one of the ladies that have done extremely well on my program. She hasn't actually finished the program yet, she's a few weeks in but um, I've seen her results so far and I've literally taken this lady under my wing and I am going to fly down today and meet her and pretty much offer her some one-on-one -on -one personal support throughout her eight weeks and beyond um, just because I feel that she may need it you know I, I, can, I can see the results she's getting and and how much she wants it so I'm going down today to meet her I've got my choose kind it's very nice Bit big, but it's <laughs> Recently, seeing some of the ladies in the, the support group, especially Beach Fit, creating their own groups around Australia and New Zealand is really, really powerful. I guess that's what I was trying to create when I started this, is there's no judgment, everyone supports each other, everyone's there for, you know, the same reason, and it's a really positive and safe space. And I've created that, but now other ladies are creating their own groups off of that is, is really awesome. So we have just had a, an app meeting yesterday. I am so happy and pleased to say that the app is finally coming together. All the challenges that we're experiencing in the last Beach Life episode have all been fixed, have all been finalized. We are nearly here. For me, that is huge. But I guess the other thing is, is the retreat which is coming up in like, from filming today in about 12 weeks time. So a lot of exciting things coming up. I'm gonna leave it there, ready to catch a plane to Adelaide. I can't wait to meet this lady and I can't wait to introduce you to her very, very soon. So we've just arrived in Adelaide. I'm going to go and meet her now and I, I can't wait, I'm so excited. It's, uh, journey so far has been incredible. She's lost just over 12 kilos in, in eight weeks. She's, seems really awesome, so we're going to meet her right now. Do yep. not eat the sugar. Is it true? Yeah, well refined sugar, like natural sugar is fine. You don't need the, Too much. the no. refined lollies, soft drinks. I don't even think I said to him Hill Street Cafe, did I? I just said Hill Street. Hill Street could Hill go Street. for like 10 kilometers. It, it might. <laughs> oh, so nice in here. <laughs> My well, Italian background, mum and dad were born in Italy. Um, I was obviously born here. I'm one of six kids. Oh my god. Yeah, so I've got, I'm the eldest of five and then we have an older half brother. I have two nephews and a niece. I still live at home because obviously my, I'm a uni. Um, I have been married before. And that's sort of, um, I guess that's sort of where things started for me. I, it was an abusive relationship. Right. It was, yeah, not, not good. Yep. Um, became physical. I ended up losing a baby. After that, that's when I left. Yeah. So you didn't have the baby? No. It was a no. It, yeah, yeah. It was, I was only eight weeks and he kicked me in. Oh. Just, yeah. Between, between breaking up with him to now, I think it was about 40 kilos right. that I put on. Put on. Yeah. 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 I was actually eating reasonably yeah. well. I wasn't eating a lot. I was like, if I had one or two meals a day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't, I was like, well, there's nothing wrong with me. So why do I need to? Yeah. And then I just thought, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to look like this anymore. And here we are. <laughs> so before you started, no excuses, you were eating like one or two meals a day. Mm. Right. Yeah. So the metabolism is just short. Yeah. So your so, main thing was you weren't eating enough. Yeah. And I was eating the wrong foods at the wrong time. Yes. Yeah. And your blood sugar is so low yeah. that when you were eating, you'd yeah. be like, oh my god, I'm so starving. Exactly, yes. And yeah. once you start building up that your metabolism yeah. and fueling, fueling yourself right, yeah. it just yeah. happens. Yeah. It, it's like magic, yeah. right? It's, it just falls off. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're giving your body what it needs yeah. instead of not fueling it yeah. and it just holds on to what it's got. Exactly. So you just finished eight weeks. Like yeah, so I'm so Monday will be the start of week. So I've just started week three of round two. Three, that's yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. 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 Got it. 
Yeah, I think week three, round two. Yes. 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 So, and you've lost about 12 kilos. 12.4 since the last time I weighed. I obviously won't weigh until end of week four, but I didn't actually realise that I was an emotional eater before this yeah. program until I'd stopped eating that stuff and things were happening at home and, and all I wanted yep. was and chips were a big thing for me, like bags of chips. Yep. I have not touched one. I know, I can't. I actually can't believe that I've actually you know what? not. If you sat here now and I bagged chips, yeah. like a bag, yeah. what, you'd feel physically sick. Yeah, well I told you about oh, yeah, that, exactly. the, that fried food diet yes. that I had because it was a catered event and I had no choice. I did, I felt really, I had to go to the doctor. Yeah. I had no idea that that's, that's what would happen, it was horrible. Yeah. I still don't see the difference. Right. Other people tell me I don't see the physical difference. So it's good that other people can see it, but yeah. it's the other things that I've noticed. Like before this, I don't remember the last time I slept through the night. I was waking up every hour and a half, every two hours. It was horrible. Yeah. I was tired all the time. The, this, I, I now say I've had to stop drinking. I don't drink more than 500 mils of water at dinner. Yeah. Because otherwise, you all yeah, night. yeah, all night. So, but I have been sleeping through the night. I just, it's just. And that yeah. affects your mood. Yeah. You're yeah. much happier, you're brighter, you yeah. can deal with the day. Yeah. My concentration levels because I'm able to sleep. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, that's been probably one of the biggest, the biggest things for me is being able yeah. to sleep properly. Um, and yeah, the energy levels. Um, so I love the fact that you know yeah. it's going to be six, 12 months. You yeah. know that. Yeah. But for everyone, it has to be an ongoing lifestyle. Yeah. It can't just be, oh, I'm on a diet. Yeah. That's or, right. And I don't look really, at it that way. Yeah. I think it's important it's not important. to look at it. Yeah. Really, really important. Yeah. Because you know, this is just the way I eat now. And if yeah. I have a treat occasionally, so be yeah. it, great. Yeah. If I have a glass of wine, great. Yeah. yeah. And do you know anyone else? Apart from Tanya, in the group, I have met I met Heather. So I went to a um, the last meeting that that we yes. had. I went to that. I just love those girls. It was amazing. And you know, they said I was very nervous about going because they've obviously gone through their journey yeah, yeah. already. And I thought I'm nowhere near where I want to be, and I'm going to be sitting. And they were like, Oh no, don't worry about it. They were like, We're your family too. And it was just oh, I got yeah, it was amazing. Um, what I love about the community, I mean, we've obviously made it a very safe and encouraging yeah. environment and all the rest yeah. of it. It's but that's contagious. Yeah. You know what I mean? That is so contagious and every woman we put our choose kind t shirts yeah, on. But I love it, yeah. It's just it's so good that everyone just supports each other no yeah, matter what. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I, and that's why I posted my photos. I would never have done yeah. that. And I was very nervous about posting it. Um, I, got, I actually got a, a um, notification the other day that someone else had posted her eight week results and had put me in there as one of the people who inspired her. Yeah. I was like, that was, that was really special. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Because no so, matter how big you are, how yeah. much weight you got to lose, everyone is in there on their own journey yeah. and have been through their own stuff. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether someone's just in there because they emotionally need help. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's weight loss or whatever it is. Yeah. They've come for a reason. Mm. No and I've seen, I have seen other posts where um, there have been girls on there who have been, or maybe it was in the community, that have been afraid to start because they see posts of um, women who only need to lose five or ten kilos. Or, and I've commented on a few of those to say, no, it's yep. you can, it's not just for those people exactly. who only have a little bit. Anybody can do it. I struggle. I do. I honestly do struggle to to put myself first. And you know, if someone someone needs me, or I will always stop whatever I'm doing to go and help them. Like, yeah. On this journey, this is all yeah. change, right? Yeah. Yes. Like, feeling better. Yeah. Eating better. It's going to increase self-esteem. It's yeah. Increase confidence. It's just going to make you feel incredible. And weight loss is just going to be a, a thing because extra, of that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. And hopefully we'll build up someone yeah. that's really strong. I hope so. That's, that's a, my yeah. goal. Yeah. Is it? What time is it? 3.30. I'd go and shower. <laughs> I'm going to clean under my arms. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks girl. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in an hour or so. Yes. Thank All you right. so much. Oh, you smell so nice. I'm glad I do. <laughs> so you might have heard me just say that I'll catch up with um, Elena in about an hour and a half.
That is because we're having a massive Adelaide Beach Fitters catch up tonight. Um, I can't wait, but you'll have to stay tuned because that's in the next episode. So I'll see you guys later.